Good luck. So the jump sequence, the JP sequence, was something that represented one third of all the shots that we did at ILM for the movie. It wasn't in the original script, um, and I still remember sitting in my office and JJ walked by and said, "I've got this great idea. It's called a space jump." And I was like, "What are you, you know, what are you talking about?" But he he, he came back and explained how they were going to, you know, jump out of the shuttle and fly down to the. And I was just like, "Wow, this is just going to be amazing." <laughs> We actually were hanging guys upside down from a crane, you know, at night, you know, um, and lighting them as though, you know, they have a sort of single source light from the sun. Um, but essentially, it's sort of space, you know, our version of space. So we did some of it like that and a lot of it in just straight CG. Then they enter the atmosphere and they're flying in, you know, well, the equivalent of a similar atmosphere to the Earth. A team is entering the atmosphere, sir. 20,000 meters. Well, at that point, we were combining again different CG approaches with, you know, real guys hanging on wires. There was a shot where um, they pull their chutes, and they're, they're all CG, um, obviously, and um, one of the big challenges in computer graphics is doing a, a CG parachute. It's a really, really tough thing to do. Hey, Wilson, pull your chute! 1,000 meters! Roger brought back plates of basically one third of the platform that our three heroes were going to land on. The challenge for us in that was just recreating the platform and then also all the extraction work to get that um, complete feeling that, that, that this was um, shot outside above Vulcan. One of the real main approaches of the movie was that we wanted it to feel like you were really in these places and you were immersed in these environments. And part of that is just creating a sort of very tactile space for the actors to, to work in. So you're trying to create this very visceral environment where you're hitting the actors with a tremendous amount of wind and energy so that they can really react as though that, you know, it's not just about acting, they're actually now physically reacting to being, that, being in that place because, quite frankly, it is hard to stand up because you're getting hit with a 70 mile an hour wind or something. They're acting, but at the same time, it's a very, very visceral kind of approach to that kind of filmmaking. I can't let Don't move, don't move! Her, 